everyone. Well, uh, firstly, to be honest, uh, it was kind of uh, easier when I was playing uh, maybe in front of 50,000 spectators. Uh, it's, it looks like kind of heavier today, but I think I will do good. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, in my family, being a football player uh, is a tradition. My grandfather, he was a football player. My father, after him, he was a really great player. My brother, he was also a football player, and I continued also with the football. So probably you all know uh, what would the profession of my son be. Uh, anyway, I started football at the age of seven. Uh, I am born here and raised in Skopje, Macedonia, the capital. Uh, normally a small city uh, where I did start with football. Uh, I personally, it was the first and the only thing that maybe uh, I wanted to do in my life. Uh, at the age, uh, in the beginnings of my career, Normally, uh, I was uh, training hard and I had one goal, to achieve as, uh, as much as I can and to go further as much as I can with football. At the age of, five, at the age of 15, I got the chance and the opportunity to play for the champions of Macedonia here. I was the youngest player uh, that made the debut with the 16 years. Uh, the, scouted, the scouts of uh, foreign uh, countries they scouted me, and to be honest, on the, on the first opportunity with the under-21 under national team, I got, uh, I got a call that uh, a German Bundesliga club was interested in me. So it went every, everything went very fast. At the age of 17, I made a dream transfer, to say, because I came from a small country, small city like Skopje, and I transferred myself in... Uh, Berlin. Hertha Berlin was the team that uh, brought me in Bundesliga. As a young guy with a dream, with a big dream to achieve success in, in a career, normally it was a great thing. Germany was tough because at only the age of 17 I moved, I left everything behind. I left uh, my parents, my family, and I started a new life. A new life that I normally always wanted to have. In life, we all know that everything does not go the way that we want. So, at the age of 17, uh, I was playing with a team that normally was one of the biggest in, in the German football. I remember the day that uh, on the 20th of August 20, 2020, 2001, I was one day before making my dream come true. I, I had an opportunity to have the debut and to become the youngest player in German football. Accidentally, the last training of before the match, I teared my cruciate ligament and everything fell down. It was a heavy and a shocking moment for me, normally because I was a young guy. Everything that I've dreamed of that day didn't happen. I lost the possibility to become the youngest player that ever played in the Bundesliga. After that, normally it went uh, everything not the way that I planned. I was struggling for more than two, two and a half years to come back to, to the field. I had a lot of uh, tough moments where my family normally was, was with me, where I had all the support that I needed and Normally, after two and a half years, I decided to make, be, make one step backwards in life and to try and come back where it all began. I came in Macedonia back uh, with 20 years. I was, before I went in Germany, I was one of the bigger, biggest talents here. Uh, the, the moment that I came back, I had very big difficulties because it was not only that for long time, time I was not showing uh, my game, I was not showing what I wanted the most, the football playing. I had everything against me from because the, the, the journalist and everything uh, can be rough sometime. From big talent to maybe big guy who disappeared, everyone was doubting that I will come back one day. Thanks God, to be honest, I, 
I believe always in myself, and that's what every time brought me in front, and that's what every time made me move forward. With the age of 20, after two surgeries done, I said that there is no chance for me to stop. I said that I have to move forward because that's the only thing that I know to, to do. I started building up, I started training, I sacrificed, of course, a lot. In the next two years, I made it up. I was the captain in one of the best teams here. My career started to move forward. With the age of 23, I made a move to Belgium. After that, I played in three other countries. The thing is to say that, of course, if you want to do the job that you want, if you want to follow your dream, you have always to fight for it. It's never getting easy, it's never uh, nothing easy to sacrifice. I have, uh, I have done a lot of things in my life which I'm proud of. Normally, the football career that I had, it was a great achievement for me. Until uh, 2018, I was a professional football player. When I finished with my career, it was the point where you have to decide what to do after. In football, you don't have maybe too, too much possibilities. As I said before, in my family, football was tradition, and normally I only knew football is the thing that I have to continue with. Since three and a half years, I'm a sporting director. I choose not to be a coach, I choose to manage the teams. I worked as a sporting director in Albania, and the thing is that the journey that I have in my, the, the journey that I had in my career, I wanted to, to, to show this to the younger generations. Of course, nothing is easy because when you come from a small place and you want to achieve the big dreams, you have always to sacrifice. It's not only the talent, it's a lot of work, it's a lot of discipline, it's a lot of things that you have to, to do if you want to go on your way and on your journey. Since three years then, I'm trying to build teams up, and normally uh, everything is going the way that it should be. After the uh, finished uh, of the three seasons, I, I decided to go and uh, take another team, where now uh, normally everyone uh, thinks that if you've, if you, when, you, when you stop with, with football, normally everyone thinks that it, uh, it should stop the, the, everything there. For me, it's very important that the, the, the young generations over here, they have something that uh, they should know. Uh, in football, of course, in this way, when you want to be a, a big sportsman, if you want to have your dreams go through, is the thing that I said, that you have really uh, no time and you have really to sacrifice a lot of things. Well, uh, I, I think that mentally, normally through my career, I was uh, mentally very strong because uh, in some moments of it, a lot of people, when I made the move back from Germany to Macedonia, I don't want to say, but maybe 90% of the people, they would have quit. But I, I had always this something on me that never let me do this. I fought up and normally I stood up and I made the career that I had. To be honest, uh, after the Albanian team, last year I decided to make a new move and to follow my dream. I know that maybe as a football player, everyone was saying that I will reach the really high level Unfortunately, maybe the really high level, like playing in Real Madrid, which was my dream, I didn't do it. I hope that one day, as a sporting director, I will fight and I will climb to do this step. I changed, as I said, the team, I changed uh, the country. And now, while you find me on this stage sharing my life story, the keys of exiling in a football career, and my current dreams may be here, tomorrow, 
I will find myself celebrating my birthday and maybe the second title of my career. Thank you. Thank you.